wait. Wait. Have you ever had to tell yourself to wait? To stop? To just take a second? I have. I usually do this when life is moving a little too fast or if I'm biting off more than I can chew. I tell myself to wait for three reasons. The first is to remember who I am. I have to ask myself, what type of person am I? The second is to understand why I'm making a decision. What is the purpose of this mission? And the third is to remember where I came from. I remember my roots. Being a military brat makes it very easy to forget your roots due to all the traveling and moving. From the age of one to 17, I have lived in or visited 23 states, and I've been to Germany and even Paris. Each place I've lived in has taught me something important. Each place has taught me to adapt. When my family lived in Germany, we spent a lot of time getting accustomed to the German culture. There are so many quirks that make them different, and because I was visiting their home, I had to learn to respect their wishes and their culture. The German language is so beautiful. I wanted to learn it so bad, but I had to wait. Because in order to correctly understand and learn the language, I knew it was going to take time. By waiting, I remembered who I was. I am not someone who is going to disrespect a beautiful culture. I waited and learned the meaning behind each word, how to pronounce each word perfectly. As he's Valkomini Gao, Du Baron Combs, du Überholz in Mini Heden de Ganestut, which translates to it doesn't matter how slow you go, you're still lapping the people doing nothing. Germany was a dream come true until that dream turned into a nightmare one Sunday evening when we found out my father was getting deployed to Qatar. This was very hard for me and my siblings because we had never spent a day without him. He was always there when we needed him most. With my father gone, the roles in the house shifted drastically. My tea parties with the Mad Hatter got shorter and shorter. The teacups turned into brooms and washcloths, and the Mad Hatter vanished. It was time I started helping out around the house because it was just my mom, and I knew she was going through a lot. I still yearned for my dad every day. I mean, who else was supposed to take me to the father-daughter dance? Who was supposed to be my prince and play dress up with me? This is one of the many hardships of being a military rat. After waiting and waiting, it was finally time for him to return to us. During that long period of time, I finally understood the purpose of his deployment. In his case, it was because they needed his special talent in Qatar. But for me, learning to wait for an important event to occur, such as my father coming home, taught me the value of patience and perseverance. It helped me become more responsible and gave me a greater appreciation for my mom. As we all know, all good things must come to an end. And for me, that meant we were moving again, this time back to America. South Carolina's beach was calling my name, or maybe Florida's sun, but no, we ended up in Ohio. Yes, Ohio, it's bizarre because there were nicer places. Instead, I would be stuck in a cold, cornfield infested Ohio. The worst part is I'd have to say goodbye to my friends. I was so tired of this yearly chore of saying goodbye to the people that I wanted to graduate with and maybe even attend their weddings one day. Some goodbyes don't even happen right away. You exchange phone numbers and you call every single day until someone stops answering their phone and their texts. You wait hours then weeks, and even months for them to call. But they never do. You're forgotten. In Ohio, school was different for me. I was so tired of moving and trying to make friends that for a while, I forgot who I was. And I definitely forgot my roots. I was so tired of waiting for a friend that was just going to forget me at the end of the day. So in Ohio, I decided I was going to make friends with anybody who asked. I just wanted a friend so bad that I made sure I did everything to not lose them. These so-called friends that I made 
started being nice to me immediately and wanted to hang out all the time. It was great. Finally, everything I've ever asked for. Until they started asking me for some bizarre things. It had just rained outside and they asked me to go pick up the worms for them. When I went shopping, I was required to buy them a gift. And when we walked in the halls, I had to stand in the back. They were my friends and I trusted them. But at the end of the day, all they did was laugh at me. I was always doing something for them and eventually I had enough. So the next day I went up to them and I told them I was done being their pet. So that afternoon, we all went to the bathroom as girls tend to do, except they pushed me into the stalls and they called me names that broke my heart. I cried that night because I was so hurt. I replayed our friendship over and over. I decided that I wasn't going to try and make any new friends. I was going to wait until I made some real friends, some friends that really cared about me. At this point, my self-esteem was low and I had plenty of time on my hands. So I spent it remembering my roots, remembering that I am a Kennedy. I am strong and I am not the type to let the world walk all over me. I don't need a ton of friends, just a few that really care about me. I have my family and at the end of the day, I was willing to wait in a physical, mental, and emotional way in order to grow. So I ask all of you, before you make a decision, remember who you are. Are you allowing your true self to grow? Do you know why you're making a decision? Do you understand the purpose? Are you making this decision for yourself? Do you remember your roots? Do you remember all the friends, family, and relationships that have helped you along the way? If you're trying to figure it out, or if you're lost, remember to wait. Just wait. Thank you.